Galaxy runs after Pepper. You follow Galaxy as she follows Pepper. I fo- I follow Galaxy as she follows Pepper? I'm not Pepper anymore? Okay. Hello everyone, it is me again. You're- faithful, uh, ungraceful human. Yep, that's me. Hi, hello, how you doing? I am going to make these kinds of videos a more regular thing, but have them specifically on Wednesdays. And it's not just gonna be sitting at the computer doing stuff, It's it can be anything, but anything unscripted is Wednesdays. Yay! So here we have AI Dungeon. And today, we are going to be making a fantastical story about my faithful little companion, Pepper, and my amazing channel mascot, Galacticat. Let us begin. You are a tiny chihuahua named Pepper. You have a best friend called Galaxy, who is a cat. You live in a log cabin in the woods. One night, you hear lots of growling and shouting. You hide under your bed and wait to see what is going on. Pepper is hiding because she's a little scaredy cat. She's asleep. Eventually, you hear the growling stop and the shouting continue. What's going on, you ask yourself? What do you think? Asks Galaxy. <laughs> hmm, Galaxy. What? do I think? No, we gotta ask Pepper. This is a video about you. Say hi to the people. What do you want to do? That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, let's go with that. You're a good girl. Bears, says Pepper dramatically. Bears, says Pepper with dramatic effect as if he-, he that's- nope, nope. Pepper is a girl. As if she's just said something incredible. Are you sure? asks Galaxy. Yes, I was hiding under my bed and I heard all the growling and then the shouting. Do you know where they're from? The kingdom of Larion. Of course, that's where everything is from. The kingdom of Larion, says Pepper with excitement, as if it's a very important name. <laughs> I think AI Dungeon recognizes that name and they're like, oh my gosh, that's ours. Pepper, the kingdom of Larion. Aren't you so excited? Mother, please let me rest. Look at how much excitement is on that little tiny face. Why must you do this, mother? Galaxy stares at her with suspicion. What makes you think it was them? Pepper, did you start a war with Larion? Is that how you know? Pepper started a war with Larion. That's what I'm go- Oh, frick. That's what I'm going with. I started a war with them some time ago, says the little chihuahua. We need to tell father about this, says Galaxy. He'll be able to track down the ones that did it. Yes, good. We'll find out who actually decided to protect Larion by sending the bears. Who's the father of this cat and dog? And who's adopted? Which one of them is adopted? You got an alien cat that's not even from Earth and then a little tiny chihuahua who was born and raised an Earthling. The two animals set out on a quest to find their father so they may find out who sent the bears and why one of them is a dog and the other is a two-tailed cat with antlers. <laughs> that wasn't necessary, but I wanted to laugh. Your journey begins when you notice some smoke in the distance. The bears are lighting everything on fire! Oh gosh, it's all fire in here. Pepper, why did you start that war? It must be the bears! Shops Galaxy. Galaxy leads you into a nearby thicket where you hide behind some bushes and trees until it's dark enough for you to sneak away without being seen or heard by anyone else. All this time I thought these two little creatures were so innocent and pure and they were just like, oh, they're, they're adorable. Look, look at them. They're so cute. They could never do anything wrong. No, they started a war with a freaking Kingdom of bears. What's wrong with them? Ah, oh, frick. What did I do? Oh, I just hit enter. Okay, I guess we'll see where we're going now. Then he le Again, Galaxy's a girl. Then he leads you around to where the smoke came from, which turns out to be a small campfire in front of a cave entrance. It seems that several creatures are staying there. A large bear who is clearly their leader and several others that look like they might be his followers. They're just roaring at each other, like rah, 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 rah. That's how bears talk, right? <laughs> Let's settle this 
peacefully, shall we? Because you know what? My dog is a peaceful little dog. She would never do anything bad at all. Not at all. I have come to slay you, shouts Pepper as she runs at the leader. The bear leader turns around just in time to see her coming towards him and lets out a roar of anger, charging her with his claws raised ready for a fight. Pepper, why you gotta pick fights? Why she gotta do that? <laughs> All right, Galaxy is the peacekeeper here. I spelt jumps with an E. Oh, well. <laughs> no, stop, shouts Galaxy as she jumps between the two of the... Frick, I didn't write that. Why can't you be friends? The bear leader swings his claw at her, but she leaps out of the way and quickly grabs his wrist before twisting it hard around his back, causing him to fall over onto his back and letting go of his claws he does so. Pepper, why are you grabbing the bear? How are you grabbing the bear leader? You don't even have thumbs. Look at these little things. Another why? There's no thumbs. I also like how they just completely ignored Galaxy. She just jumps between them and they're like, nah. And they just move a couple of feet to the right. This is the left, but whatever. They just move a couple feet over and they're like, yeah, we're gonna fight more. The bear leader is astonished that this tiny three pound chihuahua pinned him down so easily without even using thumbs. He jumps up quickly and pulls his claw as hard as he can at her, but she simply rolls away from it and kicks him in the chest before running towards him with her claws outstretched for another attack. All the other bears in Galaxy are just watching. The bears are just sharing their popcorn with Galaxy. Like, oh, this is interesting. Galaxy's like, I know this is terrible, but I love it. And you know what? I love it so much that I've made a part of the story. They're just watching their leader in this tiny chihuahua fight. And they're just like, hey, you know what? This is fun. This is entertaining. We've never seen something like this before. The bear leader stands up again with a snarl and runs at her with his claws raised ready for an attack once more but she backs away from him and leaps at him instead knocking him over with one quick blow before running off into the woods again that was close she just leaves galaxy all by herself eating popcorn with the rest of the bears well thanks for the popcorn but i should catch up with her galaxy runs after pepper you follow galaxy as she follows pepper i fo I follow Galaxy as she follows Pepper. I'm not Pepper anymore, okay. Pepper, you're your own person now. I don't control your life anymore. Go, be free. She just runs off into the woods. You follow Galaxy as she follows Pepper back into their cave, where they both seem to have forgotten about you completely now that they're inside the cave. She stops as she notices your presence and points at you. What are you doing here? Asks Galaxy. I am your master. Says me. <laughs> Galaxy stares at you blankly for a moment before replying. Well then, what are you waiting for? Go on ahead or wait outside. I don't care. Whoa, holy crap, Galaxy. What the heck? I was just telling you that I'm your master. With those words, she heads off into the woods while you wait inside the cave. While you head inside the cave to wait outside until she comes out again. But she's out. I'm. I just went in to wait outside. She's already outside of the cave, but I'm waiting for her to come out again. I don't know what's happening at this point, but it's entertaining. Galaxy suddenly shoots into the sky like a rocket. Where is she going, you ask Pepper? She's gone! She's gone! Screams Galaxy as he runs... Wait, what the heck? Galaxy's come back and she's shouting she's gone and then they turned her into a he again. She's gone, she's gone, screams Galaxy as she rushes into the cave again and starts calling for her name loudly enough for everyone to hear. She comes back out with a sad look on his her face and sits down against the wall looking very upset. What is a girl? Pepper asks Galaxy, because I want to make it clear that Galaxy is a girl. She's gone, she's gone, Galaxy cries again. Tears streaming down her face. Now that she knows she is really gone, she seems unable to speak anymore. So just continues to cry quietly until 
she eventually falls asleep. But who is gone? Galaxy was the one who was gone. Nobody else was there. Am I gone? Did I just leave while Galaxy was gone? And freaking, I don't know. No, look over there. She's back. You turn to see a small group of girls walking toward you from the trees. Okay. <laughs> They all wear red dresses and have long flowing hair. They all smile and greet you warmly when they notice you looking over at them. One of them walks over and speaks to you. Hi, I'm Lucy. What the heck is going on here, Lucy? And of course, the way you should respond to any kind of kindness or warm greeting. A battle royale breaks out with Galaxy and Pepper fighting against these random forest girls. Who will win? You watch as Lucy walks over to Galaxy and puts her hand on her, her, her shoulder in an attempt to comfort her, but she pulls away from her and turns to stare at her angry, 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 blah, blah, blah. Why did you do that? She roars at her. Do you know how much pain I'm in right now? Galaxy Deckles? What the heck? Deckles? Galaxy is apparently deckling Lucy. I don't know what that means. I'm guessing it's like a punch, but like it's a... Like, you know, it's a light, it's a light punch because she's a, she's a tiny cat and she's weak. Daxi deckles Lucy in the face with her punch, knocking her down but not killing her yet. Oh my gosh. Galaxy, what the heck? You were the pacifist not too long ago. Pepper joins the fight. Somebody's gonna die at the end of this. Galaxy turns to Pepper who is already coming up behind her. And without thinking about it, she grabs Lucy by the hand and throws her at him. What the heck? Pepper's at him now and now they're against each other? Are they fighting and Lucy's just kind of this poor girl who's getting beat up by these two tiny little three pound animals. She catches her in the air and drops her onto the ground but doesn't kill her yet. No, tell me where Victoria is. You watch as Victoria runs out of the woods and tackles Galaxy to the ground. She punches her several times before she manages to get a hold of her wrist and punch her too, knocking her unconscious again, but not killing her yet. Now tell me where Victoria is! Victoria just came out of the forest and attacked you! I am Victoria, shouts a new girl carrying several guns. Well, what are you waiting for then? Asks Lucy as she gets off the floor. She has a large knife hidden on her purse. She came in expecting a fight. So she takes it out and lunges at Galaxy while she's still holding Victoria. I'll catch your throat. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I'm gonna edit that out. I don't want this cussing in my story. I'm gonna let it play out. I'm just gonna hit enter and see what happens next. What will the story decide to do? She screams as she cuts him across the face with a knife. Galaxy stops herself from falling backwards while gri by grabbing Lucy's hand, but instead pulls himself onto his feet and stares both of you for a few seconds before turning away. Come on, let's go! I, I want a meteor. You watch as a large fireball comes straight towards you. It explodes into life above your head as it hits, leaving a small crater in its wake. That was my home, says Lucy as she holds your hand tightly. Okay, so I guess I'm back. More meteors come down and you realize it's a meteor storm. The next few days are very quiet ones, so no one dares pass through the area now that there are so many fallen trees and rocks blocking any escape routes. I was just trying to kill people. Why is it so hard in this story? <laughs> I need to end this because this video is actually super friggin' long. <laughs> the planet explodes. That should do the trick. Let's see what happens now. <laughs> you stand around watching as a large number of small explosions take place around you pieces of your planet start breaking away and hit other parts of the planet creating more explosions Ooh, let's see what's happening now press enter i'm not gonna type in the wind is getting stronger and stronger until it starts to tear the trees apart while it goes flying different directions ah it's like when we were little kids playing with fire says lucy we should run away from here what about galaxy and pepper i did that all in like one breath pepper and galaxy leave lucy and the planet behind to start a new life on the a new planet. You watch as Pepper and Galaxy join hands and kiss each other. That's That doesn't make sense for either of them. They have been together for years, but now that- Galaxy isn't even a friggin' year old. Pepper's- Pepper's over- actually, Galaxy might be a year old. I have no idea. Pepper's over here. She's nine. She's- she's really old. I don't- I don't think this is okay. They have been together for years, but now they finally have found their way into each other's hearts. 
They are married soon after their wedding day and live happily ever after in a village far away from here. My dog and my mascot got married and moved to a completely new planet that also has life apparently with villages and they just kind of live there now. I feel bad for the bears though. This has been AI Dungeon. If you would like to play AI Dungeon, uh, you can go ahead and Click the link down in the description below uh, if I put it there. I hope I did. And don't forget to leave a like if you liked it. Leave a dislike if you disliked it because for whatever reason, I'm a weirdo who always asks for you to dislike it. I thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Go follow me on Twitter. Go to my MySpace page. Follow me there. You know. See you next Wednesday with a normal video. I will see you Saturdays with the, with the skits and... Uh, Bye.